Finally, it is working. That's the fourth time I'm trying it. It's been lacking like hell. Anyway, this is the second tutorial picking up where I um, left off last time. And this one I'm gonna do doors, lights, and water. So let's start off with those. Uh, we want to make, like I told you last time, always start out with the no draw texture. Almost forgot that. So we want to make a small house here in the corner of the map. Uh, gonna make the grid a little bit smaller so I can make a thinner wall. Okay, let's make it right about there. That's fine. And let's make it 128 is a good height for a wall. Yep, this one is too. Okay, create that one. Create the other wall, like I said last time. Shift plus drag to copy. Okay, so we've got... Oh my god, it's lucky. Okay, anyway, so we've got uh, two walls going over here. Just gonna make a basic roof. Now actually this is a good time to show you uh, how you can also use the uh, clipping tool. So I'm gonna make a block going a little bit over the edge of uh, the uh, walls of the house that we're making. I'm gonna drag it up, make it lower, something like that, create it and now I'm gonna select the clipping tool and go to yep go to this view and I'm gonna clip from the corner over here up to about the middle uh, the cross is the middle of a brush so I can hit exactly actually I can <laughs> if I do like that yep I'm gonna do like that so I hit the middle and I'm gonna cut away that part now again uh, let's cut away like that so that we get a good roof. This is another way that you can use the cutting tool, uh, the clipping tool. Now, before we go on, uh, before we start applying textures to it, I want to actually make the door hole. So what we're going to do is take one of these guys over here for size reference so that I can see exactly how big my door has to be. Then select this uh, wall and go over here and quite simply cut in the size of a door. It's going to be about this size. Deselect the two walls around the wa uh, door hole and uh, that's a bit, little bit too low maybe. Something like that seems fitting kind of like that and we're gonna take away this part right here actually we didn't need to do that undo that control set and you have this block here go to the top view make the grid smaller and shrink it in to be this is gonna be our door okay save a lot as I said earlier <clears throat> so we have our basic door now we're just gonna apply some textures to it go browse and browse for door you're gonna have a lot of door textures here. I'm just gonna select one that, well, about fits. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> um, but I don't want it to have a frame either. This one seems good. Apply that. Now, you can see it isn't fitting the actual frame. And even if I justify it, it's not gonna fit. So what we're gonna do is uh, click the fit button. This will resize the texture to fit. Now I can see that the texture is actually, or the door is too low, it looks kind of weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously rescale this whole thing. Make this one higher. Make this one higher too. And again, refit the texture. Uh, copy this texture, put it on the other side, fit it. Okay, now our door is going to rotate around the hinges that would be on the door in real life too. So if you pull out the door, 
you'll notice that it doesn't have textures on the side, so we're going to have to apply that too. So I'm going to browse for a wood texture. Find something fitting. Something like this. Seems pretty good. Yep. Yep. Okay. We don't need it on the bottom because the door is not going to fly up or anything, and the player might be able to see the top, so we're going to apply one there. Now put the door back into the frame. And before I start making it into an actual door, I'm going to texture the walls too, so I'm just going to copy this over, blah blah blah, okay, let's get, hold on, that looks weird, so, as you can see, it's not fitting, I'm just going to try a few different options, nope, it's turning the wrong way, what we're going to do is go to rotation, turn it by 90 degrees and press enter to apply. Then again, fit it until it fits however you want. There we go. Okay, then. So we're going to have some pretty good walls here. Yep. Okay. Now, we will want to... Hold on, I'm just going to try something. That looks weird as fuck. So, what I'm going to do is to actually uh, cut the roof again. Yep, I'm gonna make an ugly ass roof. <laughs> I don't really care. So go from the corner to the middle. Exactly to the middle. Make sure you cut away the right part of it. No, no, that's ugly. That's ugly as fuck. Um, I don't actually know what to do with this roof right now. You know what? I've shown you how to, how you can use that. I'm just going to make a flat roof instead. So no draw and make a good fitting box inside of here. Hope he fits in there though. Roof is probably going to be a bit low. Anyway, so you can just cover this texture over, apply it to the top. Yeah. So we've got our basic house here. Uh, you can play around with the clipping tool yourself, make your own shapes and however the hell you want to. Um, I'm just showing you how to use these different tools. Now, this is not a door yet. Uh, right now, it's just a brush. If I played the level or the map as it is right now, I will not be able to open this. So what we're going to do is get the selection tool, select the door, and press Control and T. This is going to turn it into a an uh, an entity, so we can make it into a funk door rotating. Right, apply, and here you have your door. We're not done yet. This is the origin. This is the. Um, the point that the door is going to rotate around. So having the door selected, go to whatever view you want to and pull this circle into the uh, whatever side the door is going to rotate around. If this was an actual door, the hinges were going to be out on this side. So I'm going to put the uh, uh, center pivot in that side. So it's going to rotate around that. Okay. Um, I can try to demonstrate it. It would go like this, like rotating, and it would rotate around the blue spot and not around the middle. Okay. So having done that, double click your door again to bring up the properties, and we're gonna put in a few different um, settings here. First of all, let's see. We have um, speed. The speed is probably fine. You can adjust that later. Uh, start sound, this is when you start opening the door, so I'm going to go in here and in filter I'm going to type in door. You can just click these to listen to the sounds, how they sound. Just going to try and find one. So, I'm just going to go with this one for opening, and this is when it stops opening. So when it hits the um, rotation end, the animation end. So 
again door door stop okay that one apply start close sound this is we're just gonna copy over these path uh, sound path to get the exact same sounds both ways you could do something else but this is the most realistic way of doing it delay before reset this is when you've opened the door it is gonna close by itself to avoid this we're gonna type in minus one so it's gonna stay open when you open it until you press E on it again then it's gonna close uh, the lip is you don't need to do anything with this blocking damage is how much damage it does to stuff and also players that are in its way when it's moving per frame um, yeah I don't really need to explain the per frame bit if you want people to die when they're in front of the door when it's opening just type in some damage here and they're gonna get damaged um, yeah so also when something's blocking it it's gonna stop opening but if you set this to 1 or yes <laughs> yeah if you set this to yes it is gonna open no matter what it's just gonna push push away stuff and kill it ignore debris don't touch that uh, you can type in a message so when it's opened you're gonna see a message on your screen and you can also put in some damage to shoot it open so if you shoot it with a gun it's gonna open when it hits uh, that damage taken locked sound don't need that right now because we're not gonna lock the door spawn position closed uh, blah 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 loop moving sound no okay distance this is how many degrees the angle that it's gonna um, rotate when it's opening we're just gonna leave it at 90 because that is the nicest okay apply okay I forgot something go to flax okay uh, hammer might crash when you go to the flax tab that's just a bug that they haven't seemed to be able to fix I don't know why so this is uh, yes or no options one way no don't really need that new phone blah blah blah, blah. Uh, let's see toggle yep we want that I think <laughs> I don't know really uh, yeah so use opens okay apply and we've got a door now before I start testing this uh, you're gonna go into this room and this room will be completely dark as it is right now there's gonna be no light because as you can see the Sun cannot get in there there's no light in here so what we're gonna do is um, go now I'm gonna go through the different kinds of light you can make so over in the entity tool thing go over here in objects and type in light and you can either use the basic light which is well kind of ugly because it looks unreal unrealistic because it emits light all around itself um, to use that just place it move it around however you want double click for options once again brightness you can select the color pale white usually doesn't look very nice um, something like this very pale uh, very pale colored light usually um, yellow depending on on the uh, theme of your level is good don't need to touch this so appearance you do not want to change this because global offensive has a few issues with this you're gonna have checkered shadows and uh, that doesn't look very nice don't charge this down here um, um, I'll probably explain that later but not right now right so in flax initially dark this is only if you want to have a light switch I will also do that in another tutorial not this one apply and you've got your basic light so once again oh hold on uh, the first three numbers in the brightness is actually the color of the light this last number is the brightness and 200 is a lot it's very very bright you're gonna be blinded when you go in the room because light will also bounce off surfaces it's gonna calculate how light looks okay so change the last number to something like I don't know 20 or 50 maybe uh, 50 might even be a little bit too much because the room is so small and uh, quad quadrat uh, I can't even pronounce it so square like okay so save and hold on before I compile I want to remove this guy because the player's not going to spawn there save and now compile it 
let's just gonna compile the level and I will see you in game again. Okay, here we are in game and I'm gonna load up the map. The tutorial map. Just wait for it to load. Again, awkward silence. Do to do. Alrighty, here we go. Should be done pretty soon. There we go. So, gonna play as uh, counter terrorist. We've got our house over here with the door. So, when I go to the door and press E, it's gonna open. And in here, you can see we have the, uh, the light just randomly placed in the middle of nowhere. And this looks really unrealistic because you can't just emit light out of nowhere. I mean, you need to have an actual light source like a lamp or something. So, in the next tutorial, I am going to go over water, which I was going to do in this one, but this one took a little too long. So the next one is going to be a water, and that's going to be placing props and uh, different kinds of effects, doing lamps and realism. So as you can see, our door is working just perfectly. Um, yeah, you can shoot through it. You can do pretty much everything you would expect from a level. Uh, yeah, pretty much. So, thank you for watching and please, uh, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it.